And we're back. For those who just joined us, I was just thinking about blueberries. The blueberries I bought today because they're on sale. I've never eaten a tinned blueberry before in my life and I don't intend to. Let's see if I can turn this into something that'll get you drunk. So, these blueberries are made in Italy. Is there anything that they can't can? Ah! What I'm going to do is put these blueberries into this here jug without spilling any on the table or the carpet. Wow, look at that. Don't you love fresh blueberries and not tinned ones? It's really late at night. I always do these videos late at night, not because I want to. I don't. Oh my god. Italy! Oh no. That was my fault. I don't blame Italy for that. This one's going to need some sort of other tool, like a knife to open. My goodness, is there anything that they can can? Oh. Um, if you're noticing that these blueberries are awfully red, beagles love blueberries. So there's four tins of blueberries. The ingredients in these blueberries is 50% blueberries and water and sugar. And they gave me a percentage on the blueberries and not on anything else. I'll add that in a second. Here I have half a cup of sugar, white sugar. And this is some water that I have boiled and have let it cool. Jub, 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 That's so much. Yeah, it's quite a lot, isn't it, of water compared to blueberries. Yeah. Yeah. Does that help? Oh, I forgot I've got to put this in. It'll be okay. I'll be right back. I'm getting a knife in this bad boy. Ooh, to try to open it. They say that blueberries are good for your brain, they make you smarter, but I sometimes think that perhaps it's people that can afford to buy blueberries, blueberries can also afford a decent education. Have they thought of that? Alright. Ah, oh, get in there! Bread yeast? Yeah, I didn't have any other bread yeast. I mean bread yeast. What I meant was yeast. Bread yeast. All right, just put some of that in. That should be enough. I did not sterilize this knife and it just touched this dirty old tablecloth. It's actually a bed sheet. Trade secret. Mix that around a bit. And don't breathe into it. Put the lid on. You hear that? Air can come out of that, so it's not gonna explode. But because, I've explained it a thousand times, you don't need to put a condom on top or anything. I mean, you can if you want to. You'd have to use a condom fit for me on this bad boy. Is that true? Well, there's only one way to find out. All right, I'm just going to put this someplace to sort of ferment for a little while. And now a word from our sponsor. Stay right with us. This is two days later. It's bubbling very strongly. There's a big head of foam on top. I realized that night that I forgot to sort of mash them, so I dug one of these out to see if I needed to do that, but they're basically mush already, so I'm just going to leave them. Thank you, me from the near future. I hope you're still alive. This has been fermenting for about eight days. It's much longer than I expected it to take. I've even started some cherry wine a day after this and modeled it two days ago. That's crazy. I have here four sterilized bottles. I'm going to transfer this into there without spilling a drop. Do you know why I'm not going to spill a drop? Because this is a brand new tablecloth. Just kidding, it's a brand new bed sheet. Yes, I'm rich. I can use bed sheets as tablecloths. Jealous much? <laughs> oh, dude. Is that dirty? Here's the funnel, I got that word right, and here's the thing, let's pour it in. Dare I smell it? Mm, it actually smells pretty good, it smells like wine. I'm not going to spill a drop. That wasn't a drop, that was like a bean. What are they? They're not beans. Blue beans. Don't spit when you talk. I don't think I spat when I talked. But you shouldn't talk too much around it. Look at all these blue beans that are coming out.
Okay, made a tiny mess. Just gonna cap these and drink them in a couple of weeks. All right, it's been two weeks since I bottled that and I accidentally opened the cherry wine and I was filming, so I guess I'll use that footage because I want to make it realistic. If I seem a little bit bummed out in the cherry wine video, then it's just because I was expecting blueberry, that's all. And it's a little bit sooner than blah, 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 blueberry. I can. Oh, it looks like wine is bubbly. As you see, it came out like that, but it's not going to spill out everywhere <laughs> for once, right? Good job, Brett. Oh man, that's a rich color. I'm much more excited now than when I accidentally opened that one. That is rich. Can you see that? Am I recording? Why is it every time I get a little bit paranoid and I've got to check if I'm actually recording? Yes, I am. There should be a light that flashes. I've mentioned that. Or at least a horn that constantly sounds. So it looks great. It's bubbly. It smells good. After... Okay, I hope I'm not too bummed out in that other video. It was fine. It was okay. Oh! oh you sneaky bugger. It's actually really good. I'm happy. Cherry wine one, not as good. Oh wait, don't say that. It was really good. Watch it. Oh yeah, watch it. This video was brought to you by our sponsor, the other video, which isn't out yet. Oh yeah, so I've already drunk a bottle. I usually do these videos completely sober, at least I start out that way. And I had a bottle of cherry wine. So, a little bit tipsy, a little bit tipsy. Oh, I'm loving this. This one I was like, I mean, I'll drink it because I opened it. And this one, it's like, oh man. Like if it stains my teeth blue. Speaking of blue. Blueberries. What the heck color are they? They look black. They have a little like white frosting on the outside, which I think is yeast. They're clearly red when you make wine out of them. This is excellent. All right, what does it taste like? I haven't even described what it tastes like. Doesn't have much flavor. Tastes a little bit like blueberries. Wow. It's bubbly, it's not really sweet, it's not bitter, like this cherry wine is bitter. Nothing against it. But I know what I won't be drinking as happily. Do you ever have, um, sometimes, you don't want to hurt an inanimate object's feelings? I'm sorry, cherry wine, you are okay. It was my fault, I made you. I made you in my image. Whose image did I make this one in? Wouldn't it be nice if we had uh, something nice in the background? Bamboo and uh, waterfall. Excuse me, it's carbonated for her pleasure. There's tiny little blueberry seeds. One day I tried to grow blueberries from seed. I'm an avid gardener, as you might know. Yeah, the um, blueberries that I was trying to grow from seed did not grow. We ordered a blueberry online and it came in a cutting. It was literally a stick. And we put it in the ground, and it grew, and we raised it for several months. This was in China years ago, by the way. Had it outside my, uh, my door, my front yard, and somebody stole it. Which is normal in China, you get a lot of things stolen. But um, every time I went for a walk in the area, I was like, oh, is that a blueberry bush? Is that a, what sort of tree are they growing? Is that my blueberries? It's really easy to grow mangoes from scratch. And so we grew some from the seed of mangoes and we planted them. And we knew that they wouldn't grow because the, the winter in that town was just far too cold. But we were growing them anyway because it's our hobby and we like it. I'm not apologizing. Anyway, they got stolen as well. But the joke's on whoever that person was because those mango trees are not going to make it through the winter. I hope they did that. Because they're my babies. Oh! It's easy to get mixed up, especially when you don't mark them because you're an idiot. I have half a mind to go there right now. And I'll say, excuse me. Actually, I probably won't say anything. I'll just say, like, just whatever these things are. And I'm going to get some snacks. Thanks for watching, everybody.